Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial was a quick tutorial on the importance of clearing cells effectively in Excel Now the clear cells feature in Excel I find to be vastly uh, understood or people do not know that it exists but it's very important From Excel 2007 it is found on the home tab of the ribbon uh, which makes it much clearer nowadays and people are kind of finding it by their own means. But a quick mention on this and of its importance, if I have a cell in my Excel spreadsheet and in that cell I have the date, in the future if that date was no longer needed I could select that cell and press delete. When you press the delete key in Excel that only removes the contents of that cell. I can see on the home tab that the date format still exists in that cell. So if I typed a number like 67, intend that to be in 67 pounds, and I press enter, it is still formatted as a date. It's very scary. The novice Excel users will be immediately put off at this point. But it is just a formatting issue. If I selected that cell again, and went to the date drop down list, well, in a number drop down list on the home tab I could choose 67 pound and the value in that cell is absolutely fine it's just the way it's represented the way it's formatted by the same notion if I press delete now and typed in today's date it is formatted in the currency format 41,121 that is today's date but it's represented as currency if I select it, switch it to a date form, and it shows today's date for me again. And this is why instead of pressing delete, sometimes, depending what you're needing at it, but if you effectively want to you know, remove everything regarding that cell, you need to go to the clear cells button on your home tab and clear all. So that will return it to its general format, and it will also clear conditional formatting data validation, comments, and other attributes of that cell which the delete key will not remove. So a key gap in people's knowledge that you find. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will find it useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargar.com.